Flat earthers love to talk about things they don't understand and they present it like facts and science. One of the favorite topics nowadays are astronomical navigation. Let's have a closer look at that. This video is for Flatsoid, Brian's Logic, Nathan Okla and the rest of the fools that think they are experts in astronomical navigation. As I mentioned several times before, I work in the Swedish Navy, I was trained in the late 80s in navigation and one of the things we trained in was this. Astronomical navigation. This is the military handbook that we used when I was uh, teached how to use a sextant, how to navigate astronomical. In this video I will show several things. One, that in this book and all documentation are based on a globe. And the second one, you can't navigate only using a sextant. You need more things. And those things are globe proof. Navigation is a flat earth killer. Let's start this video. I have taken some images with my mobile phone uh, from the book, some illustrations. The three first ones are from the chapter Basic Astronomical Concepts. This image shows the coordinate systems that are used. All are spherical based. It says in the text in, in the textbook. And this image, the title is the horizontal coordinate system. And the title of this is the time angle system. This was three illustrations from the first chapter in the book that I used when I learned how to navigate using the sun and stars. And I could make a long video only about this chapter. Everything is based on the globe. And I know that it works because I have navigated based on the knowledge that I have gained from this book. Flurfs, where are your documentation regarding astronomical navigation that shows that it's based on a flat earth. The coordinate system is based on a globe and so on as I showed in those illustrations. I haven't the time to translate this book from Swedish. It's you who claims that this is wrong so the burden of proof is on you. And in the chapter about the sextant, you will see this type of illustrations. This one, for instance. And this one. All are showing a globe and all calculation is based on usage on a globe. The nautical almanac that you need to use the sextant, all calculation is based upon globe. Everything is based on a globe, but Flurfs try to convince their audience, their followers, that 
astronomically navigation only works on flat earth. So it's time for you flowers to show any proofs. Do you, can you show us any documentation? Something like this that shows that it's on a flat earth you're using uh, astronomic navigation. I live in the real world. I work with navigation. A backup system. If all systems on our ship stops working, our GPSs, our electronic charge and so on, we use a paper charge and in the end we have to use assistance. So it's vital for us to be able to navigate using this old style uh, system, sort of what do you call it, um, equipment, uh, instruments. Yes, instruments is the right world. Like the sextant. I live a reality. Flat soil, Nathan Oakley and the rest are living in a fantasy world. They think they are experts in things they never have used and have no training in using. I have tried to take this with uh, Brian's logic, for instance, or flat soil, but they don't understand that they are so stupid. Several debunkers have made great videos about the usage of a sextant in detail. Uh, MC Tune, uh, Science, Bob the Science Guy, and so on. So, so I won't bother to explaining how to use a sextant in reality. Instead, I want to show another problem with their claims about navigation using a sextant. So, over to the next chapter of this video. If you listen to flat authors, they believe that you navigate using a sextant. That's only partly true. Because if you only have a sextant, you can't navigate. You don't find your way. They don't understand how you use and why you use a sextant. Let's go into that in more detail. The fundamental thing in navigation is a map or at sea we call them a chart and all charts are map projections map projections based on a globe so where are the flat earth charts anybody seen them any of course not they don't exist and to use a sextant you need a chart and that fact is obviously something flurfs haven't understand. Because what are the uses for a sextant? Yes, you can find your position. But without the chart, if you don't have a chart, what will you do with that information? Yes, you can uh, know that uh, the sun is in that direction and so on, but still, how would you find your way? And secondly, the sextant only works when you see the stars, when you see the sun and so on. If it's cloudy, are you going to wait out at sea? Of course not. For instance, I want to sail from Portugal to Florida. I plot the course on a chart and uh, to find the direction I'm heading, I'm using a compass. So, what use will a sextant be? 
what's the purpose of the sextant in this case? Let me explain. If I'm heading using the compass, then I can't be sure that I'm going in the correct way because it's other forces pushing the ship. For instance, waves, currents, wind and so on. So when you are sailing without modern aid, you're plotting your position, for instance, once or an hour or something like that. And that position you calculate using your speed, the currents, the winds, waves and so on. But you can't be sure that you cal calculated correct. So to check this several times a day, you would use the sextant to verify your position. So the sextant's main purpose is not to navigate, it's to control your position. So you know that you are on the position you calculated. You can't be dependent on a sextant because of the reasons I mentioned earlier. If it's clouded, you can't use the sextant. I often criticize fools like flat soil and so on regarding their claims about astronomical navigation when they claim that it's based on a flat earth. Still, they never present any evidence. Instead, they make silly calculations that have nothing with reality to do. But as I mentioned before in the video, several other debunkers have debunked this and explained very good how you use a sextant, the practical use of a sextant. But when I criticize Flatsoid, he wants me to address his silly claims. It's his problem to convince us that he is correct. But he's not correct and he can't prove his silly versions of how to use a sextant. But he don't understand and other flat earthers don't understand the bigger problem. They don't understand how you really use a sextant to verify your position. To use a sextant you need a chart. And no one have ever showed me a flat earth chart. Because the chart is the base in all navigation at sea. So without a working chart you can't use a sextant to navigate. You can only use it to get your position. But what use do you have out at sea to have your position if you don't have a chart to find your way to where you're heading? So, why bother debating silly claims about the sextant when they don't have the base for navigation, a working chart? Once again, a big thank you to all helping me helping Ukraine. Uh, all ad revenues, memberships, PayPal donations, every earning of this channel goes to buying drones and are sent to Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you liked it. I will be back soon. Have a nice day all. See you soon. Bye.